Automation Direct sells both IEC motors and gearboxes for many applications. Many of us in the North American market may be more familiar with NEMA motors, which are sized based on Imperial or SAE measurements such as inches. IEC motors use metric measurements such as millimeters. In the video linked above, we cover NEMA motor standards. And here I'll look at the differences with IEC motors. On IEC motors, the frame size is very similar to a NEMA frame size, which tells us the height of the shaft, shaft diameter, and mounting dimensions in millimeters. The second component of IEC motor specifications is the mounting designation. Much like a C-face on a NEMA motor, this tells us the mounting options, such as B14 which designates a C-face, or B5 as a D-face. When selecting compatible devices, ratings and mechanical fit need to be considered. So, a NEMA 56C motor will fit a gearbox with a 56C input flange, and an IEC 63B14 motor will fit a gearbox with a 63B14 input flange. But you must ensure the gearbox is matched by rating, such as the gearbox input power should not be exceeded by the motor. A quick note if you're not familiar with gearboxes, also known as the closed gear drives or speed reducers, are mechanical drive components that reduce the drive speed as well as increase the motor's torque by the gear ratio. For example, with a 10 to 1 ratio, the gearbox output is one tenth of the motor speed and 10 times the motor's torque at approximately the same motor output horsepower minus losses. Iron Horse IEC worm gearboxes contain a worm on the input shaft and a mating gear on the output shaft, which is arranged at 90 degrees to the input shaft. The cast aluminum housing offers lightweight design and optimal heat dissipation. We offer single and double output shafts, output flanges, torque arms, and output covers. Click here to buy gearboxes for your applications and click here to subscribe to be notified of new products and solutions.